In dialogue scenes, I like people looking at each other. I like eyes to meet. So they're getting into each other and you're connecting. For me, I'm always having problems cutting long scenes where people talk to each other because you've got an unlimited amount of choices and opportunities when you just have two talking heads. Uh, uh, the scene can go many, many different ways. The drama can become comedy. Pathos can become tragedy. Uh, it can become, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, a, a grilling session or a deposition. If you cut it really fast, where it can be very leisurely and introspective, if the, you use a lot of thought and a lot of the breaths and air and the pauses, not just the words. And that's where, you know, a great film editor really can help a director. <laughs> Another way of looking at film editing is that it's a dance of eyes. Philip Seymour Hoffman's eye is looking. So that's, that's a good thing. Now let's cut to a close-up of Hoffman looking. And the close-up of Hoffman is here. We've never seen this angle before. So the brain has to figure out what it's looking at and maybe why it's looking at it. And to the degree that you hold shots a certain length, you allow a certain train of thoughts to happen. When you cut a shot off, you've also cut off the thinking about that shot. Now, we want to cut to what he sees, because that's how we're going to understand what he's thinking about. Now, there you see him thinking, and then his eye goes down. So let's. We run that at speed. Flinch. Yeah. Point of view. Thinking, thinking. Other co-conspirator. Let's do it now. What? Let's go. Oh, something's up. Let's go. Don't do it. Let's. And we go. There's something about film because of its sensory completeness. The uh, the fact that it is sound and image in this powerful fusion. Um, that, that gets at something very deep within us.